Hello, my name is Dan Thompson and I'm the media producer for Image Video Services and Productions, also known as IVS. Welcome to this video tutorial titled Editing Your Web Page with CK Editor. This video is number three in our series titled Editing Your IVS Design Website. In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at CK Editor, which is the entity that we use for entering large bodies of text into your IVS Design Website. So let's just bring up our website. Uh, we see our grouping features here. These are our elements, and the element we're interested in today is this one called CK Editor. For a complete overview of the other elements plus the grouping features, please refer to video number two of this series. So we'll click on this element, and we see a window opens, uh, which is titled Rich Text. And I'm just going to make this window a little bit bigger so that we can see all of the uh, content that's in it. CK Editor is a uh, word processor for the web. What it does is it takes the content that we enter into it, either by typing it in uh, or by pasting it in from uh, other areas, uh, and it uh, formats it up uh, as we wish into headlines and content and bullets and numbers and tables and various items and then it converts it to HTML code which it puts into the website so if we wanted to ever take a look at the source code the code that's actually being generated by this particular piece of software we would look at this button here and if we take a look at the back of it after we select it we start to see what the actual HTML code looks like so we have a headline here this is our new content just coming back in, there it is there. This is our new content, which is set up as an H2 heading. And uh, then we have some paragraph text, the website master layout shown here, and that it, it's ended with this tag. And then we have a, a list down here, which we'll recognize as a bulleted list, of course. And then some more paragraph text. So you get the idea of uh, how this particular piece of software works. Now, there is one caveat. If you make a lot of changes in this software, that is, you decide that this is H1, and then you make it H2, then you make it H3, and then you cut it out, and then you paste it in somewhere else, all of this coding eventually accumulates in here. And it can accumulate to the point that it becomes very slow and uh, it becomes convoluted. And uh, so that's something we need to be aware of. Uh, as we're entering text, we want to use a structured approach, which I'm going to talk about today, to avoid any convoluted in any areas. Because it's a converter of uh, text to programming, it's not as solid and secure as, say, Microsoft Word would be. And it's not a true what you see is what you get editor. It's a sort of what you see is sort of what you get editor. And I'll just demonstrate that. If we take a look at our website, we will notice immediately that the fonts are different. This particular one is done up in a uh, sans serif font, and here the editor is using a serif font, which happens to be Times. Again, same thing here, we're using Myriad, and here the editor is using uh, Times. Also, the, the widths are different. We see there's one width, and yet if we were to move this editor out, it will just get as wide or as narrow as we want it to be. So we can't use, um, we can't use the editor to gauge for width and layout and placement. And the reason for that is the editor simply takes the text, formats it into the uh, uh, style that we want it to be, and then applies it into the website. The website then looks at what's coming in and it says, okay, I have a style sheet. My style sheet says is all, all headlines are going to be this font, um, all body text will be that font, and this is going to be the width. So it then interprets that and applies the styling to it to give you a, look and, a consistent look and feel in your website. Remember, this is a control mechanism to make sure that your website always looks beautiful and it doesn't become a hodgepodge of various fonts and, and craziness, as it sometimes can. So those are the constraints of the CK Editor. Um, and we sort of need to know about that. The other thing you have to be aware of as you're using CK Editor is the width of your site. If we're looking at this width here, it's basically 700 pixels uh, end to end. And when we start putting in pictures and things of that sort or doing up tables, we need to know the width so that we'll know how to specify the table or specify the width of our picture uh, into uh, 
uh, as we place it into CK Editor and use it on the website. Um, I think that's it for now. So in our next video, uh, we're going to take a look at editing with CK Editor and uh, have a look at some of the features that CK Editor offers. Bye for now.